Hey, good afternoon, YouTube. I uh, was just out here putzing around in the de <laughs> in the shop. Last time you saw me, I was in the uh, downstairs uh, command center. Uh, right now, we're out here looking at my, yeah, don't mind the mess, my Rockwell Mill. It's a horizontal NMTB 30. And we're taking a first look at it and getting it wired up and ready to operationalize. Now, the focus of today was just going to be a real quick one, and it's going to involve the magic of the drum switch. Uh, this is a furnace uh, drum switch. You can see right here it was rated 550, three phase. Three phase is handy. And then uh, three horsepower maximum. And it looks like it uh, is in very, very good shape. Uh, what we're going to do in this case is we're going to run a VFD, variable frequency drive, on single phase 220. And we're going to run the three phase 220 off of this one. And the drum switch, I just love them. They're fantastic. So to keep with the uh, uh, aesthetics of it, and it's also just a fantastic durable switch, we're going to use it to control signal. Uh, to the VFD so it's going to know forward and reverse just like a normal operation for this one rather than moving big uh, current around inside the drum switch which is what it was designed for it's very able to run uh, small signal voltage as well so we're going to run a very small signal voltage through it probably the 5 volts I believe is what the, they're using on the VFDs and we're going to use this to give us the forward and reverse direction just like it always did but without all the heavy current so uh, with that uh, let's take a look inside this thing. Yeah, there we go. Sorry. Uh, there we go. Look at the quality of the construction. Look at that copper. This thing is a behemoth. And inside of this thing, it had the cover on it all these years, and it is spotless. Now, the rest of the mill was set in the barn and uh, all manner of uh, bird droppings and other spider webs and all those kind of great things. But just to highlight this one, this is in the neutral position right now. It's in the center and it's got uh, forward and reverse. Trip this, trip that, and it's got a very, very nice heavy duty detent to it. And I'm sorry for going hands free here, but I just said, you know, I'm looking at this thing. Maybe somebody would like to see the insides of it. Um, Furnace is one of the premier ones from back in the day and uh, I just wanted to share this one so to get the whole idea um, the elements here are staggered to a certain degree and these little contacts are what they slide up on and notice the contacts are have a radius to them so it rolls right up on there rolls right off and this thing is meant to cycle lots okay so back in the neutral position, if you look at all the outside fingers, no contact is being made anywhere. This machine is dead. If we go to the forward position, that big shunting bar right here, this is making contact, and its sister one over on the other side is making contact. All right, and I won't go into the wire colors and stuff because your mileage will vary, but you just get the general idea, going back to neutral, Go in the opposite direction, we have a difference up here, rather than having that great big shunt bar coming across these two, we come across in reverse, we have two separate units going across each one and making the contact down below. And if you look over here, there's jumper wires to make this actually function. So when I come in here, I'm just going to pick this up and I'll be putting a uh, V reference voltage in and then two signals going back, one going to each individual pin on the VFD, and it won't care or know any difference. It's gonna function just like it always did. So forward and reverse. That's what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna keep it old school, uh, but with what I'm using it for, it should last many, many, many more lifetimes. It's just the quality of these things when you get to them. It is so ruggedly built. I think these were probably a vintage of the mid 60s, maybe early 70s. And if you look at the contacts on this thing, yeah, barely anywhere whatsoever. 
And look at the copper in that thing. I gotta go back to that. This thing is super heavy duty. In an age where they're trying to engineer and get just barely enough to make it do the job, uh, this is a, it's a delight to actually see one of these. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll get into more about the wiring and I start getting the VFD hooked up. But I want to share with you this uh, drum switch and my plan. And uh, if you haven't ever seen the inside of one, you hear a lot of people talk about them. But uh, that's what it looks like. All right. Have a great day.